If you've been following me for a while, you know that fall is my favorite season. And in today's video, I'm bringing you the top five jackets that you'll need for this fall, right after the intro. Welcome back and welcome to Esteemed Image. My name is Jace and if it's your first time tuning in, I wanna personally say thank you. If you're the type of guy who likes men's style, some grooming tips, and just wanna be an overall better man, this channel's for you. I invite you to subscribe, hit the notification bell. That way when I drop more videos like this, you'll be the first to know. Growing up in a small town in Virginia, the fall has always been my favorite season. To watch the leaves change, the crisp air, being able to go out and do different things um, and actually enjoy them without being like overly hot or overly cold, I love the fall. I'm just like every other influencer when I say that fall is probably the best season of the year because it's just, it just allows you to be able to layer, dress, you know, dress the way you want to. It's not like, harsh conditions you know in the summertime it's super super hot in the wintertime it's super super cold and the fall the fall is just like the sweet spot to me but you know you still need to make sure you have you know your coat game together and so that's what today's video is all about so without any delay let's get into the list coming in at number one you should already know is denim jackets they're better known as trucker jackets. When you think about it, you probably think of Levi's. This jacket is extremely versatile. You can layer it over something or you can layer it under something. It looks good over a polo. It looks good over a Henley. It looks good pretty much with anything. And what's great about a denim jacket is that you don't have to go for the navy denim. You can do gray, black, white even. And they are just a, an extremely versatile jacket to have in your wardrobe. The other great thing about having a denim jacket is that you don't have to spend a lot of money on them. You know, you can get it from H&M, Zara. You can't buy them from Levi's, which they aren't that expensive from Levi's either. You can even go to your local Goodwill and get a great denim jacket for the low. Being honest with you, I have a I have a light denim one and I have a dark denim one. And personally, I like the lighter one better. It is Levi's, the darker one is from Gap. But I just feel like it fits, it just goes well with everything. It has a little bit of um, like brown in it as you can see. But I love it, man. It just it just works well for me. So like I said, it doesn't matter what color denim you get, just pick you up one. Number two is the bomber jacket. This jacket has origin from the military, from uh, fighter pilots. This one is a men's classic as well. You can get it in leather, you can get it in nylon, suede. Again, this one, it really doesn't matter. They just look great. For me personally, I have two that are nylon and I actually have one that is suede. Actually, I'm sorry, I have two that are suede and I love them. They're comfortable, they're warm. You can buy them, they can be thin, they could have um, a little bit more lining, but these jackets are extremely versatile too, guys, so be sure to pick you up one of these as well. I will say this, if you don't have a lot of money and you don't, or you don't wanna spend a lot of money, my suggestion would be out of the items on the list would be the next jacket, and that's a field jacket. The field jacket also has a military heritage. Now, you'll see this one a lot in the spring, but this is a great addition for the fall because of that olive color. I mean, it just looks so damn good. And it can be dressed up or down as well. It'll look great with some boots. You know, you, you can um, find yourself being able to wear it in several different ways in different occasions. So you're not just stuck wearing one type of outfit, if that makes sense. Like, okay, so for example, with a bomber jacket, you ain't gonna wear no suit with no bomber jacket. Well, you shouldn't anyway. But wearing, you know, something a little bit more dressy with the field jacket, it just worked. Now this next one on the list is one that I actually don't have and I beat myself up about it every year. I need to pull the trigger and purchase one. But this one is perfect for those chillier fall days and that's a nice leather jacket. Whether it's a biker jacket or not, having a leather jacket in your wardrobe is something that every man should have and I'm slacking in that department. Um, because they're expensive. I will not, you know, BS you guys on that. You know, they're, you're looking at three, four hundred dollars plus for a nice leather jacket. But the thing about a nice leather jacket is this, 
if it's real leather, it will last you forever. I'm gonna pull the trigger eventually and, and purchase one. One of the things that I've run into trying to find a leather jacket is that I'm a small guy. So trying to find a nice leather jacket is hard for me. Peter Manning does have a leather jacket that I'm gonna check out. Uh, I just need to stop being a penny pincher and pull the trigger and get one. And you should too. And number five on the list is something that could be worn in the fall and in the winter, but that's a top coat. And the reason why I put a top coat on this list, because there are, there's other jackets I could have put on the list, but I put the top coat because it can get cold in the fall. Winter actually doesn't start until almost Christmas time. You know, Thanksgiving, early part of December, it gets super cold. And if you're a guy who wears a lot of suits, the top coat is perfect for you. You can get it in a variety of colors. You can get it in, you know, wool, you can get it in cashmere. I would say if you're gonna purchase one, if you do not have one to go for a camel color, to me it's the most versatile outside of a navy. You can do navy as well. If you're a classic guy and it's super cold outside, you need to, you know, make sure you're warm and a top coat is gonna provide that functionality for you. Let me know in the comments, gentlemen, if I left off a jacket that you think should have been on this list an honorable mention would be the Harrington jacket which looks like a bomber but it's actually just a little bit better and I'll post a picture of the uh, the Harrington jacket just so you can see it I hope you enjoyed this video if you did be sure to give me a like make sure you hit the subscribe button it helps our channel grow and as always I appreciate you guys for watching and remember dress better live simply and get you a great coat for fall